This Summer Nick Taught His Cats to Read by Curtis Manley and Kate Berube. This Summer Nick Taught His Cats to Read. Nick had two cats, Vern and Stevenson. They spent summers doing everything together. But when Nick sat down with a book, the cats had their own ideas. So Nick decided to teach them to read. He started with easy words. Ball, said Nick. B-A-L-L. -L. But the cats just wanted to play. At lunchtime. Nick pointed at the word food. The cats ignored him. Wake up, said Nick after they fell asleep. This is no time for a N-A-P. Nap. His cats didn't like that at all. So Nick made new flashcards. And Vern got interested. But not Stevenson. Stevenson just said, Mark and crawled under the bed. Nick tried nursery rhymes next. When he read The Three Little Kittens, Vern searched everywhere for mittens, but not Stevenson. Then Nick read his favorite books to Vern, who liked stories about cats and stories about fish. Vern loved fish. He followed along as Nick read, learning the sounds of the letters. Vern practiced on his own, over and over, even after Nick went to bed. Soon he was reading new stories all by himself. The next morning, Nick tried once more. Fish, F-I-S-H, see, fish. Vern loves that word, don't you? But Stevenson said meow and ran under the porch. He hissed at Nick and Vern. Vern got his own library card and borrowed so many books that Nick could hardly carry them home. When they discovered a story they both liked, they acted out their favorite scenes. They dug up fish fossils in the flower bed. They bounced across the surface of the moon. It was fun, but it would have been more fun with Stevenson. Then Vern discovered a treasure under the bed. A great stack of Stevenson's pirate drawings. Wow, as Nick whispered. Stevenson drew a story. We should write the words, said Nick. Vern helped. When they were done, they squeezed under the porch. Gave Stevenson an eye patch and read, The Tale of One-Eyed Stevenson and the Pirate Gold. Stevenson listened and followed along. He didn't run away or hiss, not even once. So Nick and Vern took him to the library to find more books. The next morning, when Nick woke up, Stevenson already had his whiskers in a book. When Vern and Nick needed help fighting pirates, Stevenson found a sword too. Welcome aboard, matey, Nick yelled. Step lively! Nick and Vern rounded up two scurvy mutineers, and Stevenson held them at bay. Then Nick and Vern climbed the mast and looked out over Treasure Island. When Nick yelled, Land Ho! Stevenson was right there with them. Then they hurried down and waded ashore, and it was Stevenson who found the buried treasure. Now Nick and his cat hunt for dinosaurs in the lost world behind the garden. They race around the yard in 80 seconds. They journey to the center of the basement. Sometimes Vern and Stevenson curl up with their own books. And so sometimes Nick reads to them while they close their eyes and purr. But Nick also likes it when someone reads to him. Maybe I should teach you how to speak, he says to his cats. How hard could that be? Meow, says Stevenson. 
Thank you for listening. Please subscribe and like so you don't miss another story. If you have a story you'd like me to read, leave a note in the comment section below.